Madam Mary, good morning, and Commissioner General Prison Service Brigadier John Warioba, and you all distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is a brand new week, and I'm happy that I've been able to start this week here. I am delighted to join you as we flag off relief food donated by the Prisons Service Department. This noble initiative complements the government's ongoing interventions towards countering the effects of one of the worst droughts Kenya has experienced in decades. This particular gesture by the prison service is a laudable response to the efforts and desire to mobilize support from an array of stakeholders and well-wishers within and outside government. The cooperation of players drawn from multiple sectors, big and small, will no doubt boost the efforts being made by the government to ease the burden of hundreds of thousands of Kenyans vulnerable to the threat of starvation. Nothing is too small in this quest and every willing individual or organization should feel free to make a contribution. As ancient Greek author Isop formerly famously said, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Ladies and gentlemen, I, on behalf of the executive led by the president, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, do sincerely thank the prison service for the food donation we are here to flag off today. I applaud the prison service for going beyond its mandate and exhibiting rare magnanimity by minding the plight of Kenyans affected by drought and in particular those in need of relief food. The 400 bags of maize being flagged off today will be distributed to families in Mutha Ward of the Tui South Subcounty. To the 400 bags of maize we have received today, my ministry will add 150 bags of beans to ensure that the recipients of this food enjoy a balanced meal. As I have reiterated in the past, the county rainfall experienced in October to December 2022 short rain season and the below average rainfall received thereafter has cast 22 out of 23 arid and semi-arid counties in drought stress. This state of affairs coming after five successive seasons of poor rainfall has continued to burden the government with the task of ensuring that the vagaries of drought and consequent threat of starvation do not take any further toll on the lives and daily routines of affected Kenyans or on livestock mortality. Persistent poor rainfall, patterns and concoctment drought have exposed many Kenyan households, especially those in the Arsal counties, to severe food insecurity. Many families have completely lost the means to support their livelihoods and are now relying almost entirely on relief assistance. Kitui County, only a fraction of normal rainfall during the short rain season that was poorly distributed. Consequently, more than 350,000 people in Kitui County are likely to continue experiencing acute food insecurity. The county is among nine that are currently designed under alarm drought phase. 
the most affected areas in the county are Kitui South, Kitui East, Mwingi Central, and Mwingi North sub-counties. The impact of the drought in Mutha Ward has been especially severe, with household food security deteriorating rapidly following extensive crop failure. Human wildlife conflict and the after effects of resource based conflicts have worsened the already bleak situation. However, the government has moved with speed to counter the many downsides brought about by drought by instituting a multi agency approach whose concerted interventions are posting credible outcomes. Ladies and gentlemen, additionally, the national and county governments are implementing various drought response interventions, including food relief distribution in areas affected by drought. We appreciate the invaluable support extended to the government by our development partners, the private sector, the non-state actors, and even Kenyans of goodwill towards mitigating drought-related inflictions. Meanwhile, the National Drought Management Authority, NDMA, is currently coordinating a multi-agency assessment exercise that will give a full picture of the impact of the just concluded rain season and food security, security situation in the country. This will help us map affected areas up to world level and inform the scale and type of interventions that we will require. It will also improve our capacity to undertake appropriate targeting. I thank Brigadier Retired Warioba and the entire Prison Service Department for setting the pace for willing well-wishers to step out and assist those of us affected by drought and in need of relief assistance. We urge more outfits and even individuals to take the queue by prisons and feel sufficiently charitable and duly prompted to follow suit. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I assure you that the government will continue distributing relief food alongside doing whatever else needs to be done to cushion vulnerable communities against the impact of drought. Thankfully, our capacity to respond to starvation has been enhanced by the recent edict in the January 2023 executive order to transfer special programs to my ministry. With NDMA and other key departments under my docket, I am confident that the government will step up its mission to push on vulnerable Kenyans from threats posed by drought and starvation. Finally, may I point out that the government has put mechanisms in place to build resilience in communities affected by drought, more so in the face of climate change. I thank you all and once again want to assure Brigadier Warioba and your team that we will be partnering with you to come up with measures that will ensure that we do not get into drought situations in future. Thank you and God bless you all and I wish you a very good day.
Colo, colo. Sí, 